All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Ricky Tiki TV. Sorry I've been gone a while, uh, a lot of stuff going on, but that's beside the point. What I wanted to talk about today is the MPC Studio Black. Um, as a guitar player, you know, I've always was trying to find ways to incorporate, you know, a more modern sound into my recordings. And I think I found the solution here. So what I'll let you do is listen to a sample of something that I threw together relatively quickly, and then I'll show you exactly how I did that and exactly how to use something like this. Now, these are cool because this is like a relatively older product, so you're not gonna spend a whole bunch of money on it. And it does all the stuff that the new NPCs do. You know, the 700, the thousand dollar NPCs. You can do all that with this, and you can get this used for like 180 bucks. So yeah, subscribe, hit the like button, and uh, let's get into this video. All right, so here we are. I've loaded up the MPC Studio. This is what it looks like. So if you look here on the left-hand side, don't even worry about sequences. Um, what we're worried about is the tracks here. Now on each track, a program corresponds that you choose with each track. So if I go boom bap, and let's just take this Biggie 95. So watch what this program does here. I'm on track one, and it says program one. When I double click this Biggie thing, it loads it into here. Now look, program has changed. So now Biggie 95 corresponds with track one. Now, if I wanted to do something else, like add some bass later, I'll go track two, and then I'll I'll go to another, you know, downloaded loadable pack, and uh, like F9 instruments, and we'll go programs, and we'll go instruments, and we'll go bass, and we'll just pick a bass. So we'll just go classic. Here it is. So now the bass corresponds to track two. Let's go back to track one because that's where our drums are at. Now you see you see how these uh, keys have litten up here so I have my kick drum my snare hi-hat other type of hi-hat up here in the top left uh, you got bars we're gonna go ahead and make this a four four bars All right, so we got our uh, you know kick drum down. So I'll take this metronome off, so I don't have to hear that. You would have hit this plus here. It's overdub, so it won't erase stuff as you're recording new stuff. So. All right, we got our snare. So now I'm gonna throw down some uh, hi hats. The cool thing is, is if if you want to get those modern, you know, trap style hi hats, you can go to note repeat. I click this on, and then when I hold down this hi hat, it does it automatically for you. Now that's in the sixteenth. So if I bring it up to say thirty two, it's going to go. All right, so we'll add some of that, and we're going to hit overdub, and we're going to hit play. I'm going to add some 32. Now, you can go crazy. You can add, like, 64, <laughs> which is just crazy. There you go. So... We got our drum pattern down. So now I'm going to add some guitar, but how we're going to record the guitar, because obviously guitar is an audio track, not a MIDI track. So here's your MIDI on the top left hand screen here, and here's your audio. All right, so I went to audio here. Uh, my guitar is input two on my interface, and this is the output where you want it to go. This is my interface. And then we just, we got this here. This corresponds to the four bars we made earlier at 90 beats per minute. So let's go ahead and lay down some audio. So 
So now we got our audio, and all I was playing there was D and then C. But let's go back to our MIDI now, and we're going to go to track, our bass track that we made earlier. So I know it's in the key of D minor. So now this is all pentatonic minor. Um, maybe I'll change that bass though. I don't really like that bass. So you just, if you want to change the bass, you just click a different bass. Let's do jazz bass. But as you can see, it's still on that first one. That's because it loaded them. It loaded all the things that I double clicked into the program. So we have to actually click the drop down menu and choose it. So let's see what that sounds like. Alright, now let's try that. Let's see what that sounds like. So now I got my bass, my bass track laid down. Now let's see, let's hear what we're working with so far. All right, very basic. Now if I want to add in other instruments, I can go track three. I'm in my MIDI section, track three. Now let's close these bases down. And remember, you have to download these packs here. So I'm gonna hit my instruments pack. I'm gonna go down to programs, instruments. Let's add some organ. Uh, let's go jazz organ. Let's go overdub and play. So we got a little bit of organ now. All right, cool. So now we got that. Now if I wanted to do a, a, a guitar solo, I'd go to uh, track two and bring this back here. Let's turn the guitar on. Turn up the gain a little bit. And let's record. Record. guys so that's basically the rundown of this thing uh software wise and uh you know at the end which i didn't show because it's fairly easy but after you have made all your tracks uh what you would want to do is is on each midi track so i have my drums on midi one track one so what i would want to do is is go file edit track and then bounce to audio and then you would do that for all of your uh, MIDI tracks. And then you would just have a whole bunch of audio tracks there. And then you would just export them as an Ableton Live set. And then you would have all of your audio tracks to use in Logic or whatever. All right, now keep in mind that this, this beat that we made is very basic, basic, basic. And you can get a lot more in depth with that. You can add like on certain MIDI tracks, you can load in like ambient sounds and all kinds of stuff. So it's really, really easy to use. So keep this in mind. This might be something that you will be interested in uh, and add into your workflow. And because really what this does is it allows you as a guitar player or a keyboard player or whatever to load different instruments without having to really learn them. So you just load them in you're a musician, so you know the scale that your song should be in. And you just load it up, and, and it's right here. So then all you got to do is just explore with what sounds good, and then add it to your song. So that can be brass, that can be ambient sounds, that can be voices, whatever whatever kind of expansion pack that you downloaded. Um, yeah, but thanks for watching the video, guys. I will make more in-depth videos of this NPC if I see that you guys are interested in it so drop a like tell me down in the comments if this would be something you would like to use in your workflow or not and why as always thanks for watching guys and catch you on the next video